I don't, I don't know what I was thinking about. I let the day get away from me and don't have my zippers. Okay, okay. No, we're recording this. Okay. Um, all right, cool. Um, we'll just go over the zippers first. Have you guys, did I send you my YouTube of intro to zippers? I see there's a whole playlist of uh, zippers. A plain zipper, a basic zipper, a separating zipper, an invisible zipper, and a zipper that you make a fly front zipper with, like for jeans. Okay, and it's all in a YouTube. So you'll get that if you don't have it, um, you know, you'll get that after this. I go through every zipper and how to, uh, how to uh, sew it in. Okay. Um, I get my zippers from Joann's when I want a specific zipper. When I'm at one of those warehouses, I just grab however many zippers I need for whatever. Sometimes I have zippers that, um, especially invisible zippers, that I stitch in muslins. You know, I'm not going to waste a, a, a good zipper if it's not, you know, hey, Nicole. You know, if I'm, it, and I hate to take it out. If you've ever taken out, put in an invisible zipper and had to take it out, if, uh, I just throw them away, <laughs> which is bad, not sustainable, but. Oh, sorry, I'm just, I'm just, okay. okay. Nicole, you good? I don't think she can hear me. Okay, so. <clears throat> Here is a regular seven inch zipper. Okay, guys, the, the go ahead and look at the, my table is frozen. Hold on. Okay, is that better? Yes. Okay, one second. Didn't I tell y'all yesterday? One day I'm gonna have me a studio. Might be sooner than you think. Right? Yeah. Tell a team. Uh -huh. <laughs> Look, y'all go spread the word. I can get it. <laughs> I'll be able to get it. Y'all go spread the word. All right. How's that light looking? Let's see. All right, cool. Okay, <clears throat> this is a regular zipper. The properties of a zipper are, let's, let's spotlight this because on the recording, if we don't do that. Okay. <clears throat> Can y'all see it okay? See my table? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, guys, a zipper is measured from metal to metal. Okay, this is a seven inch zipper. You see it? Metal to metal. So when you are choosing zippers, it'll have it on the package, all right? But when you measure it, don't get confused. Zippers are always measured from metal to metal. The zipper tape is for sewing use. This goes underneath the waistband, okay? This goes below, um, the fly front, all right? The function of the zipper is from metal, metal to, to metal. Okay, this is a polyester zipper. This is a metal zipper. And it's typically used in uh, jeans. Okay, it's a little heavier, all right? But again, metal to metal. That's a seven inch zipper in you may see a zipper um, in a package and it will say seven to nine inches. 
and it'll be nine inches because you can always uh, cut a zipper off at the top. Okay, zippers are always adjusted from, from the top. So if you ever put a zipper in, in whatever garment, you're making sure that the bottom is aligned how it should be, but it'll be okay if it's longer than wherever it is on the top, whether it's the waistband, whether it's the next line, because you can always adjust the zipper from the top, okay? Here's a separating zipper. And this is a sport zipper. It's plastic. Okay. It comes apart. Okay. And you still put them on the same. Separated zippers come in smaller sizes also. And here's your invisible zipper. Your invisible zipper is used for pant make, I mean, um, dress making, and sometimes pants and skirts, just depending on the design. You cannot see coils or teeth on the front side, okay? The coils are here and they come together where there's, where the fabric is stitched all the way up to the edge so that when the garment is zipped up, you can't see a zipper. So, and you do need a special foot to put this uh, zipper on, okay? So your zipper feet, this is what mine looks like. Okay, Sue has a really cool one. Sue, I'm gonna ask you to show yours in a little bit, but the zipper foot is designed to stitch down the side of the tape, okay? Now you see how mine, where the, where the gauge is, it sits on top of the, is right in the middle of the zipper teeth. That's just a gauge and it allows my needle, it allows my needle to get as close as possible. Okay. I've also have a wide mouth zipper foot. It still sits on top of the tape, but I, I have the option to do a different kind of stitch. I can do a zigzag if I want it. I use this in bra making because, yeah, just staying away from the hook and eyes and all of that, okay? This is what most of your zipper feet look like on your machines. Is that the case? Is that fair to say? Everybody has one that looks like this? Yes. Yes. Okay. Nicole, I think I know what yours looks like. Which which machine are you looking? Are you using? Okay, let me see it. Hold on. I am using this one. Oh, okay. For now. For now. Okay. Just for, for now. Okay. Just for a little bit. Let me yeah. see it. Is it yours? Is yours oh. like mine? Yeah, we have the same machine. Me and her mother have the same machine. Oh, that's so pretty, Vinya. You've never shown it to me. <laughs> oh my God, it's so pretty. That her machine is the godmother of all of the machines that everybody else has. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'll go back. All right, hold on. Let me go back to my, my screen. Okay. All right, so your zipper foot has two sides, all right? This little bar is how you put it on your machine, okay? You can either put it on the right side or the left side, all right? Because you can stitch down the zipper on either side. You can either go down this way or you can go down this way, okay? And the reason why you have a zipper foot that has dual sides because the best practice is that you stitch down a zipper the same direction on both sides, okay? Because of balance. Zipper tape and fabric and foot, sometimes it shifts. If you have it pinned nicely, you'll, you'll be fine. But 
zipper feet were designed so that you can stitch down the same side, down the same direction on both sides of the zipper. Okay, you can stitch across here. You can carefully stitch across the teeth. Easier on this zipper than you can on this one, right? I don't recommend it. That's why you have the zipper tape on both ends, but you can. You can do it. You have to crawl it manually, <laughs> okay? Um, what else? You use your zipper foot, no matter what size your zipper is, you use the same zipper foot on it. You can, you know, get as close as you need to be, okay? Um, sometimes there's some lines that you can determine on a zipper that'll help you stay straight. Like this one is kind of scored right here in the middle of the tape. Um, let's see, what else? What other, okay. I think that's about it. What questions do you have about the zipper overall? You forgot to show the invisible zipper? No, this is it. I'm gonna talk about the foot. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry. See, that's why I need Paula. Yeah. <laughs> okay. An invisible zipper. Okay. Unlike the other zippers, you put them on without opening them. You can put them on without opening. The invisible zipper has to be put on open. Okay. And I think I do show this very closely on uh, the YouTube video. All right, the invisible zipper foot has a single hole in it. This is how it fits on my machine. Okay, so click, right? But if you can see, you see the two little grooves? The little two little grooves underneath? That's where the coils go fit so that the needle can go through the hole and be right there where it needs to be. So here's the coils of the invisible zipper foot. And if you peel them back with your finger, see, it's like that. If you peel them back with your finger, you can tell where the zipper will go. The one thing that will stop an invisible zipper foot from zipping, uh, an invisible zipper from zipping up is one strand of thread. So if you get a strand of thread in the coil, it won't it won't go anywhere. One strand, okay? So when you put it in the machine, the coil is right there, okay? This side, sorry. The coil is right there and you're stitching down. Stitching down. Stitching yeah, this down. is the easiest, this is the easiest yeah. one. This is the First feedback, Nikki. <laughs> From where? Not me. Who is that? Yeah, somebody fixed it. <laughs> okay, so I'll show you this one. If you have it, you can, and you have an invisible zipper, you can do it yourself, but I'll show you how it works. How do I, how do I know which is my, um, is my invisible zipper fit? You gotta look at it. it. It looks like this. I don't. I don't have any Nikki that looks. It doesn't automatically come with your machine. You have to order one. Did you? Um, did you see it on my page? On my Amazon page? Um, no. I, I didn't yeah. So. I didn't notice it. I don't think. They cost like five bucks. Yeah, that's okay. that's not bad. Okay. Yeah, they don't cost much at all. And it's, and it's universal for machine or machines? Yes. Yeah. For machines that take universal feet, yes, it is universal. Mine isn't universal because Mickey, I had to buy it for this so machine. Mine, mine looks like this. Can you see it? Come over a little bit to the left. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So come over to your right. Okay. A minute. Uh, okay, that one. Yeah, yours yeah. is plastic. Uh huh. Yeah. Now, I can't shoot any... me because my good one. 
but um, <laughs> oh, <you did>. okay. <laughs> yeah, but that's the back and then in the front. So yeah. So guys, take a look and make sure you have one so we can practice. Okay. Because I do want you to practice on this one. It's uh, it's a game changer. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> it's a I game changer. Look, let me tell you, I cried, guys. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Using the other foot uh, every time. <laughs> so. You know what, Paula? Nikki or I never... Paul... Uh-huh, go ahead. Go ahead. I have a Janome 7330, um, and I don't, I'm looking for my zipper foot now. I don't know, because I've never used it before. I don't know what to do. I don't know where it is. Your regular zipper foot? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, do you sell that on your Amazon um, link? Mm -hmm. Yeah. For the Janome? Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, Janome will use a universal. But... Okay. Okay. Perfect. All right. What questions we have about zippers? Yeah. You can dye zippers. This zipper tapes are cotton. So you can dye them. Okay. To match your, your garment. If you all into it like that there, but these warehouses, they sell a lot of different colors and all different sizes. So when you're shopping for your, um, you know, fabric and everything. If you need a zipper, go ahead and get it then. You can match it up. If you have to go later, take a piece of your fabric, a swatch, and go shopping, looking for zippers to match up the, um, the, um, the colors. And also, I don't know if anybody's familiar with wawack.com. They sell oh, all yeah. um, sewing notions. And yep. I ordered some, I ordered my zipper on Thursday at five o'clock and they I received it yesterday at about 9 30 a.m. Okay. So they're really fast wow. with shipping. Yeah. And I even had something sent to a woman who's starting a sewing school in Philadelphia. Ordered it seven o'clock Wednesday, seven o'clock p.m. She got it the next day and she's in Philly. Um and I'm in Connecticut. So mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, but the, nice. yeah, Wawak is good if you want zippers. I like Wawak. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll really order my good. thread. I'll order my thread yeah, from thread. Wawak. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. yeah. I need some serger threads too, so thank you for reminding me about that. Yeah. You know what, Kenya? I've got a bunch of serger thread I'll put in the mail to you that I'm not going to use. Really? It was, oh. from mass, it, it was from mass making. Okay. And I'll just put it in a bag and put it in okay. boxes and send it to you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet yeah. of you. Thank you. Because yeah. I, have, I haven't touched the serger. Sweet. I have an industrial machine I bought two months ago. haven't touched it. I really? know I bought a Juki. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Who's ready to make a bag with a zipper? T, T you're not going to do anything. Sandoras, you're going to do it. Terry? What is it? Oh, you got clips. Oh, you got, she ordered the thing. She ordered the, the kit. The, oh, the wow. Look at that kit. nice big yeah. box. Yeah, she got it. Oh, so she ordered that from your and what is Amazon? That? I don't know if she used mine, but what is that other thing you got? All that fabric. She's on mute. Oh, Some muslin. Mute. Oh, muslin. Yeah, I've never used it. I was like, okay, I'm supposed to be making practice with this. So yeah, yeah I ordered it yesterday after y'all talked about it in the kit too. Did you use my link? <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Did you, you use my link? link? Oh, you didn't talk about it in your, did you talk about it in your class yesterday? Where that? I thought I did. And you sell muslin remember. too, Nikki? Nikki, you sell muslin? I have it on the, I have it on the site. Yeah, okay. I have it. See, Amazon allows influencers to have a page, right? Okay. So it's like an affiliate. It's like being an affiliate, right? Gotcha. And I, um, I just put stuff in there. And sometimes I have people that call me and send me a list. Put this in your page. I didn't see it before they buy it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> wow. okay. So, Nikki, can you say it so I can put it in the chat? Okay. Amazon.com mm -hmm. yeah. slash shop. Mm -hmm slash sewing my style okay i'm putting it in the chat guys okay 
All right, hold on. Ah, shoot. Okay, so Doris, you ready to, um, you're gonna, sew in my style, Paula. No, 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 I, it, it, I clicked it, in oh, my okay. hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nicole, yeah. you gonna make something? You got a, you got a square piece of fabric to, okay, cool. Sonia, you gonna make something? I don't have it. I'm cut, sorry, yes, I'm gonna try to make something. Okay, all right, you're gonna make something. <laughs> Okay, uh, Sue, Sue, tell me, did you get your zipper foot put on your machine? Is yes, your son got, with us today? Is he? No, is he, he is, is. He's out with the girls. So, but I have the zipper okay. feet, but I need to get zippers. So that's just. Oh, thing. okay. So I'll be okay. watching today and making okay. it when I see the video. All right, no problem. Mm -hmm. Colette, Colette, Deborah, or Evangela, are you guys sewing? Or are you just gonna watch? Watch them. I'm gonna have to watch this time. Okay. All right. I just like to know who to pay attention to to you know make sure that uh you know that I don't lose track of you. Mm -hmm. That's why I asked that. I'm gonna, I watch. I'm gonna watch too. I missed the class yesterday, so I'm just gonna watch today. Okay. Let's do it. Thought I had my piece cut. Man, I had so much to do. Man. So we'll demonstrate this and uh, and then we'll do, I want you to do the same for buttons. Just have a piece of fabric. And guys, uh, I, we made the grandbaby a, an activity board. You guys know what that is. You've seen them like mm -hmm. you get a board and you put bells and little things clank clank things you put um you go to the hardware store you get a lock you get little pulleys just all this stuff that they can you know be stimulated by and um we put a zipper on there a really big zipper so he could slide it back and forth and then i made i took a piece of denim and made a a, a, a like a placket with a point at the it with a big buttonhole and then we put a big button on the board so he could, you know, put put the button over it. It was really cool. And um, it reminded me of, uh, you know, making, I, I just took what I knew about making a, a placket on a jacket, like a shoulder epaulette or something, and did that. It was fun. He loves it, too. How old is he, Nikki? He's, um, he'll be two in oh, wow. Janu January, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Funny little age. boy. Yeah. His name is Griffin. Oh, wow, that's a nice name. Mm -hmm. My daughter surprised me and named him that. Yeah, she didn't tell nice me. That was our second grandbaby, so she oh. didn't, uh, we, we didn't know, well, we knew the name choices for the first one, but for the second one, she didn't, she never said anything, and I never asked. And then she said, his name is Griffin. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look at the table. All right, you got two pieces of fabric, however long you want them to be. I just made mine long enough for this zipper. Okay, is this clear on the table? Can you see? Yes. Yes. Okay, okay. So, the idea is you're doing um, a zipper always goes on face down, okay? So, Sundurs, you may remember when we did this in um, the other class. We did a bag class. And just keep your orientation, meaning keep the pieces in front of you how they're supposed to be. This will be a bag once it's done like this, right? All right, so keep your pieces oriented in front of you. So if you're ready, you've got the pieces here and then put your zipper foot on. Put your zipper foot on your machine. Okay, and if anybody has trouble putting it on, let me know. And get your pins.
you put it on the left or the right? I forgot. What do you mean? The zipper? Yes. Either the zipper foot. foot. Zipper foot. foot. Yeah. Put it on the left. Put well, it on the left. Yeah. Well, it depends on where you want to start. It right depends. Yet. Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see your foot, Sundoris. Oh, wait a minute. Let me take it back on. Put it on the right. Put it on the left side of the bar, the left bar. Is this your foot? Yes. Is your foot right here? Yes. Okay. Put it on the left bar. Mickey, how much fabric? Because I didn't. How much fabric? What, what, how long is your zipper? No. Uh, oh, you're just going to let them know. Okay. So yeah. whatever length the zipper is. Yeah. Yeah, I put that in the email, the yeah, right. the, uh, the class email. Just okay. however long your zipper is, that's the piece of fabric you need, and you'll make a bag that size. Okay. I need to cut it. I'm, I'm sober. <laughs> Come I'm, I'm, just, I'm just say the good fabric until I get it again, because I forgot. Yeah, we always practice. In the email, yeah. I said any throwaway any fabric, practice, okay. muslin, cotton, whatever. Man, that's why Terry ordered all that muslin because she got uh, the practice fabric now. <laughs> she good. <laughs> you know, I, I, y'all, I was um, on the team that started the mask making operation here in Atlanta, and I got more muslin than I, I, I will never use it all. It is, I mean, I will give it away when when it's time for me to clear my garage out. A bunch of the stuff is going to go with it because. It's so much because people start donating stuff and they donated stuff that we couldn't use. They were donating their old sheets and stuff. I'm like, well, we don't, we, that's okay for you to make masks for your family, but we making masks for the hospitals. Right. Not right. Sheet. And I'm, I can't take an old sheet and, and send it into Emory. I'm sorry. So I got all of that. So what I did, I started bringing it upstairs, washing it, and I'm using it as muslin <laughs> So let me know when y'all ready. You got a piece cut. If it just looks like this, it's fine. It's just a square piece of fabric, the same length as your zipper. Okay. I'm getting there. I'm cutting the fabric. Little girl, move over with some. Is anybody cooking any good dinner tonight? I just want to be entertained. <laughs> See, I cooked last night. What you what you eat? Um, I had the I made some Asian chicken and broccoli, like with oh, um, nice. Asian sauce with hoisin sauce. Like, yeah, I was fancy last night. <laughs> mm. Tomorrow, oh. I think I'm gonna do some butternut squash soup. I'm gonna oh, that. nice, nice. Yeah. I'm still no. thinking, what am I going to eat tonight? <laughs> We're having homemade vegetable soup. Oh, lovely. I love. I used to make that for my family. I, I, need, to ma I need to make that for myself. Yeah. yeah something um, when your kids go, you stop cooking all that good stuff. <laughs> We're just going to order something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's like, no. <laughs> I, I ordered out last night. I have a restaurant. Paula, you know Wahoo over here on college? Yes, I love that restaurant. Yes. yes I, they have a quinoa bowl. Okay. And it's not like breakfast, lunch kind of. It's real savory. It's got mushrooms in it and mm. broccoli. It is so good. I went and got that. That sounds good. Yeah, it was good. And I'm watching Fargo, so... I got good TV. Oh, yes. Wait a minute. Who's in it? Uh, who's the main character? Uh, Chris, is well, it? it's four different. There's four different seasons, and they're all different. Oh. So Chris Rock. Chris, Chris Rock, Rock is, is in, in this one. Season, in okay. All right. Season. Yeah. I Billy Bob Thornton was in season one. 
Yeah, yeah. And two. He was in season one and two. But he was in, but wasn't he in the movie? Two? Wait a minute. Which one was no, in the movie? No, he wasn't in the movie. Okay. No. Okay. Mm-mm. It but was, yeah, uh, it was, um, what's her name? Yep. Fran, Fran McDermott or something. What's oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I know he's talking about Fran, though. Francis yeah. McDermott. Yeah, yeah. Francis McDermott. Yeah, she was yeah. in the movie. But yeah, but Billy okay. Bob Thornton was good. I love him. Love him. Yeah. <laughs> love him. So, so I'm watching that. And season four is Chris Rock. And it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay. So I'm watching that. Can you play serious? Yeah. Does he play what? A serious, a serious role. role. Like he's serious because I'm so used to him being. Oh yeah, yeah. No, this is crime drama. Oh, I don't. Yeah, I, he plays I've seen a the real preview, serious, but I've never role. watched it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is crime drama. It's so good. <laughs> I don't. I love crime drama. I don't. You know. So. Yeah, they say. It's you know my daughter always says a lot of killing. Like yes. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody dies every hour. <laughs> so it's like uh, See, we can't hear you. That's what no, I'm... we can't. Okay. We can now. Talk up. Okay. Talk up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I was, I okay. Was Shout. I, I wanted to know about that butternut squash. No. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> so. I've never made it before, but because I know how to cook, <laughs> it's okay. not going to be a problem for me to do it. You know, Experiment. I know there's plenty of cooks on here. Like, there's things that you never met, made before, and you're just like, okay, I'm going to try it, and it comes out still really good. So, yeah. you know, uh, well, I guess I'm chef-like. How about that? <laughs> yeah. I tell my wife, my wife could cook a shoe, and I'll eat it. Like, <laughs> She, she, mm, she okay. Yeah. For the nice. Nice. Yeah. Soul for the soul. Right? Uh, <laughs> I like that. Soul for the soul. <laughs> All right. Let's get started, y'all. Yep. Let's get okay. started. Okay. So we got two pieces of fabric and we have a zipper. All right. Oh. Lay the zipper. Lay the zipper in the middle. Mm-hmm. Place down, right? Not yet. You remembering from the last class. We're not doing all of that. That was a real bag we was making. <laughs> okay. Okay. So lay the zipper face up in the middle of your fabric. If your fabric has a right and wrong side, Mm-mm. this needs to be the wrong side of your fabric. I mean the right side. Sorry. This is the right side of your fabric. Everything's right side up. The fabric is right side up. The zipper is right side up. Okay, watch my hands. Take one piece of fabric, turn it over, cover the zipper, and line up the edge. So it looks like that. Okay, so you got the zipper and the edge. The zipper is face down. These are right sides together. So this is the right side of the fabric, and the zipper is right side. And edge to edge, pin the zipper. Pin it vertically because you're gonna, as you stitch, you're gonna take the zipper, take the pins out as you go. And these pins don't do good. Do we have to use pins? Can we use the wonder clips? Um, you can. You feel confident that they're going to hold them? Mm. These pants be running the fight. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, so this is what I did. My zipper was in the middle. Mm-hmm. I took the fabric and I turned it over edge to edge and I pin the zipper onto the fabric. You can do it on the back side. Oh. Mm-hmm. This is the back side of the zipper so it's right sides together. Okay. okay. I have a question. So you yep. have your right sides your right sides are together. Um, your zipper is facing up then? The no? zipper is facing down now. It was facing okay. up originally, but I took the fabric and see it was facing up like this. 
and I took the fabric and I flipped it over and laid it on top of the zipper edge to edge. So now we're face down. The zipper is face down. So the right side of the zipper is facing the right side of the fabric on the edge. Got it? Yes. <laughs> I'm just scared of these pins. <laughs> you don't use these much in the Hey, door. Dominique. What did Kenya say? Hi, how are you? Sorry, I'm late. Hey there. It's fine. We're doing a zipper. You but I recorded this. Oh. I recorded this. So you'll get to catch up, okay? Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Hey, Nikki, can you highlight your t the table because yes, I'm sorry. Maybe it's just me. No, no, it's, it's fine. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, that's much better. So the right yeah. side of the zipper. The right side of the zipper is on is face down on the right side of the fabric. I did it wrong. Wait, is that the same color, Nikki? <laughs> Let me see. Did I do this? Okay, the zipper is face down on the right side of the fabric. And then just put a few pins there, just making sure your edge is, is good. Let me just edge mine up a little bit more. I think I did it wrong. And zippers is something you can practice because you can put it on a wide stitch so it's not really tight and you can put it on there and take it off. I did it right or did I put it on? I'm so backwards. Let's see it. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's wrong. Yeah, yeah. That's the yeah. That's the wrong wrong side. Nikki. Okay. okay. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. I'll check yeah, everyone to make sure yeah. you did it right. Oh no, that's it. That's it. That's, that's it. it. I'm sorry. That's mm -hmm. it. That's correct. Oh, you're fine. You're okay. fine. Okay. Sandoris. Yes. What I want you to do. You are going to stitch with your zipper foot on. The zipper side, put your pins mm -hmm. on the side of the zipper. Don't move anything. Just take the pin out and put it on the zipper side because that's the, that's the side you're going to stitch on. Oh, okay. You see, you've got your pins on the fabric side, right? Yes. Okay. I'm put on the other side. Yeah. Yes. Just do it one at a time. Don't shift it. Yeah. Do it one at a time. One at a time. I always have it backwards. This is why I've only made that one bag with you. Well, that's why <laughs> no, you're going to make true. more. Hey, Tamari. That's not true. Sorry for being late. I'm just getting in for work. <laughs> oh, I understand. I rec right. We're recording the whole, we started recording from the beginning. Because T reminded me that I needed to hit the button. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole, you good? Yay! Good. <laughs> um, okay, who else was that that was doing it? Um, Sonia, you're doing it, right? Sonia, yeah. Yeah, and Terry, you're doing it? Yes. Uh-huh, yep, Sandoris, that's good. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Yep, your wrong side, your, your zipper is face okay, down okay. on that fabric, right? Right. Uh, Terry, you need to put your Terry. pins in a, the other direction alongside the, the zipper. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's just better to have your pins mm -hmm. this way so that when you're stitching, you can pull them out. And I'll tell you why when, um, when, we're, when we're sewing. 
I'm gonna go ahead and scoot over. Get on in here so you can see. If y'all can hear that snoring, that's my cat. You may not believe it, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I keep her for night shift. <laughs> Like shit. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Paula, get his nail. Can you see her? No, you can't see her. I don't know how to angle it so you can see her. As long as she stays asleep, I'm done. Yep, that's good, Terry. Okay. And this is the right side of the zipper, right? The zipper's here. This is the wrong. No, the zipper no, should be face down, down on the fabric. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. See, we look at the good. zipper right here. See, it's face down. Okay. Got all kinds of toys. It's oh. cool. Paula, you have co-host ability. Will you, uh, when I start sewing, will you highlight my other screen? Yes. It's, it's spotlight video. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Or it. does it? No. Click so on the two. The Dang. three little dots on the screen. I, I'm on that. Mm -hmm. Okay, then look down. It says spotlight video. It doesn't appear on mine. All I have is disconnect audio, chat, meeting settings, and virtual background. Well, I made you co host. You did. So that's, that's why it's strange. Yeah. I'm gonna make you host then. Oh. I'm supposed to be able to do that. Okay, now try it. Take my machine it's screen, this screen here, and spotlight it. Okay. Jeez. The screen where the machine is. Yeah, I, I am. Let's see. The that. So I'm on the machine, and then I do the three dots, and then I just don't see it. Okay. All right. Maybe we don't have it then. We saw it for one minute. One quick second. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. I've got, now I know that we got to fix that. Okay. All right. You got your zipper foot on your on your machine. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Okay. 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 Yes, I All got right. it. So I'm gonna save you some time and show you the trick first. Okay. Okay. All right. Is it up? Oh. You don't see it? You don't see it? I see it. You see my, my machine? Yes. yes, I can see yes. it. Yes. I can see it. Okay. All right. If you see it and it's not big, go ahead and pin the video yourself. Like Just double tap it. Yeah. Yeah. Double tap it if you're on a tablet. 
Okay. All right. So what I want you, I'm going to save you a bunch, a bunch of aggravation and show you this in the very beginning. All right. You see, here's the beginning of the tape. All right. I want you to take your, take the zipper and come down further past the zipper pull. Just come like right about here and line your zipper foot up on the tape and lower the presser foot down. And you're past the zipper pull. And just lower your foot on it, the presser foot down on it, and make sure you're in a good spot. Look at it, make sure the zipper foot is right where the teeth are, and make sure your needle is gonna hit right beside the teeth. T is speaking. We got to do something about his volume. Yeah. I have a quick question, I, and mm -hmm. I may have to just watch. Um, I have the right side. Let's see if I can show you. Um, this is how I have mine. I don't know if you can see it. Um, do Let I have my zipper? Look. Hold on. Let me look. Hold on. Where are you at? Okay. Let me see. Okay. There you are. There you this are. Is, Okay, so do uh -huh. I, I have my zipper on backwards then, right? Correct. Is on that, the wrong side. Is, is that an invisible, side. is that an invisible zipper? No. Yeah, it is. Where are you? Okay, I don't right. think Go to so. the top. Go to the top. Let me see the zipper at the top. Take it out of your machine. Okay. Oh, no, that's not. Oh, it's not. Okay. okay. It just blends it looks well. like it, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it sure does. Okay. <laughs> no, Sonia, you're fine. You're fine. Um, but it looks like you have your teeth facing you, and my teeth are facing downward. No, that's just how your zipper is designed. I, okay. got a metal, I have a metal zipper, and it shows metal on both sides. You have a polyester zipper. And it doesn't show, it doesn't, it blends very well on the back side. That's just your right. zipper. Yeah. Okay. No, you're right. You're, you're, you're perfect. Okay. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> no, Thank no you. Yeah. I just happen to have a metal zipper. Okay. All right. Let's see. Okay. Can he's saying, can you please show the position from the side angle? This way yeah. we can see how far back the end of the zipper is from the presser foot. Hold on, let me blow it up. And see my presser, my zipper foot is really long. Uh -huh. So just come past the the uh, the zipper head, the uh, zipper pull. Okay. Lower your presser foot down on the tape. Make sure the head of your zipper tape, of your uh, zipper foot, make sure the head just, just lays right in the middle of the, uh, I'm sorry, I was blocking it, right in the middle of the zipper tape. Okay. Lower your needle and just start sewing straight. Okay. When you get up on your pin, take it out. So slowly, especially if you're your first time doing this, get up on the pin, take it out. And then when you get all the way to the end, you can stop and do a backward stitch. And you put one side of your zipper in and I'll talk to you about this in a second.
I'm a, um, when you get finished, I want to see it. Okay, Nicole. There you go, Nicole. Uh huh. All right. Sonia, you so you sewn yours on. Yeah, Sonia's yeah. good. Uh, let's Who else see. is done? Tamari, are you sewing? No, no, okay. I'm just watching and taking notes. Okay. All right, Terry's sewing. She should be done in a second. Sandora, is you good? We can't hear yeah. you. <laughs> if, um, I think the needle was hitting the T for the zipper, so I had to move it over some more. I don't know how to flip it around so you guys can see what I'm talking about. How do I flip my picture around? Uh, Where, are you oh, on a tablet? There you go. There you go. There you go. You got it. Can you see? It? Is it in the right place? Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're saying your zip, your needle was hitting the zipper teeth? Yeah, so I had to move it over to the right some. Okay, maybe you just really had it closed, but it shouldn't be hitting. Okay. But if you moved it over, that's good. All right, there's somebody's in the chat. Yeah, I'm chatting. <laughs> okay. Demetra is here. <laughs> hey. Okay. So guys, I had you start below the zipper pull just to get you going and see how easy it is to stitch straight down. Okay. Now, let's go back to the top of the zipper where the tape is. Okay. Lower your presser foot. Okay, now most of the zipper feet, they cannot get past the zipper pull. Okay, they struggle with getting past it, depending on what kind of foot you have. Okay, so if I were to start stitching, okay, I got to get past it and it's going to stop right here. So go ahead and open it. And then just stitch straight. You don't have to do this every time with every zipper. I'm just showing you what, what the risk is. Okay, look at this right there. Let me highlight this. Okay, see how I was trying to get around the zipper pull and it went like that and came and I had to come back in, okay? That's okay to have if you're at the top, it's, it's right at the top. It's gonna be, there's gonna be a waistband there. There's gonna be a collar there. It's not gonna be a big deal, okay? That's why I wanted to show you so you won't think you're doing something wrong. I can't get past the zipper pull, you know, I've heard it, right? So I wanted to show you what happens. It's not a big deal at all. It does not affect the function of the zipper and it's right at the top where the zipper stops anyway. Got it? All right, so keep your zipper closed. That's why you, when you put your zipper in, you can leave it closed the whole time. All right, so now all you're gonna do is do the same thing on the other side. Cut me my threads. Get my threads out of here. Okay. Okay, if you look at the table, all right, you've got one side on, and this is what it looks like, right? You're going to take your iron, you're going to press that down. You may even top stitch. Now take the other right side piece of fabric 
and turn it over and lay it down on the zipper on the other edge and pin it and stitch. This time, you're gonna flip your zipper foot to the other side. Take your zipper foot off, put it on the other side because you wanna stitch down the same direction on the zipper. Same. See, we got, see how it looks? Sonia's about trying to talk. Sonia, did you want to talk? Do you have a question? We can't hear you. And she keeps going upside down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess yeah, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm on my phone. I usually use my computer, so I don't know how to maneuver this telephone um, with this iPhone. So um, I'm a little confused. Um, I know we have the one with the zipper that, that we did. Then we have yeah. the, the, this side, the other piece. Do I lay my zipper on top to sandwich it in? Okay, so what you want to do, you see how, all right, you just... You just stitch this, mm -hmm. right? This is what it's gonna look like. This is your right side. Okay. Can you get there with your fabric? Can you mm -hmm. do this with your fabric? Okay. Yes. Now here's your other piece. Here's the right side of your other piece. Okay. Okay, this is the same orientation we started with. So okay. take this piece of fabric and lay it on top edge to edge with the other side of the zipper. See? <coughs> and then you are going to pin on the zipper side. There's no sandwiching. There's the other piece has already been done. You got it? Yes, I think so. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Let me see when you do it. Okay. Okay, so I just stitch the other, uh, pin the other side. But if you want to test it, whenever you guys uh, want to test something and see if you did it right, pin it and turn it to the right side and see if it if you got what you want. See, this is what you already stitched. Here's the other side. You're getting ready to stitch. Your pins are on the zipper tape side because that's the side that you're going to stitch on. Okay. All right, let me see. Yeah, looking to. Ready? <laughs> Is everybody sewing? I'll sew mine. <laughs> yeah, that looks good, Sonya. Do. Let's, let me see it, Terry. It's on the wrong side. What's on the know. wrong side? New page. Where's your zipper pull? Oh. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on, let me see. I'm going to spotlight you so I can see. Yeah, that's why I had to do it. <laughs> All right, so I'm. 
I had to I had to get my manual to try to make sure I was putting it together. So, all right. So now that I have the zipper on this one, let me see. Wait a minute. Slow down. So uh -oh. let me see your zipper head. The head of your zipper. Okay. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. I lost my picture. Okay. Here's the head of my zipper. Turn it over. Turn it over. No, no, turn, no, no, the, no. Zipper. turn the zipper over. Turn it, turn it back. Now turn yeah. the zipper over. No, this, no. open Take it up. The there you there go. You yes, go. yes. That's what I want to see. Okay, you did that right. Lay it down just like that. Okay. So, because what I when I pinned it, it didn't come out right. So I'm laying it down. Ooh. Lay it down just like that. And Leave that alone. That. Leave that alone right now. Leave. Take that other piece and put it away. Okay, now take your zipper is facing up, right? Yes. You let, the right side of your fabric is facing up. Your zipper head is facing up, right? Yes. Take the right, take the other edge of the other piece of fabric, the mm -hmm. right side, the right side, the colorful side, and mm -hmm. lay it down on the other edge of the zipper. On top, like a sandwich? Uh-huh. Okay. On top. Okay. On top. Ignore yeah. the other piece of fabric. I ignore the okay. first piece of fabric. Okay. Okay, let me see. Turn around. Turn around. Oh, I see. Okay, I was looking for the zipper. I thought it was on top. Okay. So now you're going to pin on the zipper side. Right here? Uh-huh. But on this side? On that side, yes. Okay. Yeah, the vis is that a visible zipper? I think there's one. Yeah, I didn't have any. Okay. I have okay. a lot of invisibles. I didn't have any polys or. Oh, any that's all I have. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's fine. As long through. as you know. As long as you know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you said you had to get your manual to put the zipper foot on? Is that what you well, were doing? Well, I felt like I was putting it um, because I was trying not to use my invisible zipper. I was trying to use just the regular zipper uh, foot. And um, I couldn't get the placement on the zipper so that the needle was stitched close to the end. Oh, okay. So it wasn't clicking. Yeah, so I was yeah. like, let me get the manual, make sure I'm not missing anything. No, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah, you would just use an invisible zipper instead of um, a regular right. zipper. Right. Correct. Yeah, sometimes I, I'm like that too. All I have is invisibles because that's all the kind of sewing yeah. I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> Lit, Nikki. <laughs> invisible well, zippers. Always. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, in a bag. Sonia, how'd you do? You're muted. I can't hear you. Um, it didn't work out. What happened? It's um, I don't have an opening where I can. I'll show you. Okay, so you stitched on the wrong zipper side. Oops. I don't know what I'm doing. Hold on one second. Okay. <laughs> now I can hear you. Can you hear me? To flip the, yeah, we can hear you. What are you trying to do? Flip it? Are you trying to I'm flip trying it? trying to um, flip the screen so you could see. Okay. There you go. See? Let me see the other side. Turn, put the fabric, close the fabric up. Close the fabric up. Yeah, let, let me just see zipper. <laughs> Okay, did you stitch both pieces of fabric together? It looks like it. On the other side? Yes, that's what it, yeah. yes, that's because yeah. it won't open up. Right, right. So you stitched down the other side, but you were supposed to just take the zipper tape and the one piece of fabric. So you stitched down through both. So go ahead and take that out. And then okay. you, can, um, you can stitch it again. She was trying to do a lap band. No, no. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. She did a she did a fly front. Yeah. 
Nicole, let me see yours. Oh, here it is. Yay, Nicole. Okay. <laughs> Who else? Wasn't somebody else sewing? No, that, yeah. oh, it's Terry. It's Terry, Nicole, and Sonia. Okay. And me. Uh-uh. And Son Sundors. Sundors. Oh, where'd she go? Oh. Did you get the other side, dear? You're muted. You're muted. You're muted. <laughs> you're you're still mute, talking. Honey. Yeah, you're on mute. <laughs> I have it together right, but I have the wrong. I have to figure out what stitch I need to use to go with the zipper. So I that's why it wouldn't stitch right with the zipper foot. So I have the manual. I'm trying to figure out what I need to do. Because right. I can't just put it on any stitch. It has to be on a stitch to go with the zipper foot. So I'm trying really? to figure out which one it is. Really? Really? What 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 sewing machine do you have? The brother uh SE 1900. Honey, it's, it's a it's regular sewing machine straight stitch. It's just a regular stitch. It's a regular stitch. Straight stitch. I have the same one. I'm on um I use stitch 1-03. Oh, like my baby like this the same. Uh, well, it's still a, a straight stitch. Straight stitch. Yeah. What was happening? Was it hitting the zipper foot? It, uh, was the needle hitting? It, it actually hit. I think it hit. I might need to change. The needle didn't break, but I think it hit the, what's these things? Dogs. The feet, feet oh, the dog dog feet? Dogs. The feet, feet dogs. The, the, the feet dogs. All right, dog. T. All right, T. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so man. All right, That's so let so me see. Funny. <laughs> That's from the private class. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. Look at you. <laughs> so we're gonna let Sonya get hers and then we'll um we'll go on. Oh you go you okay. can go ahead. I don't want to hold anybody up. No, I want you to do it. Uh, I'll catch up. Okay, I want you to. Um, uh -uh. Who was that? Wait, who, 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 who had a moment? Screaming? Who had a moment? moment. <laughs> Terry? Terry? Was this you? Yeah. Oh, you, God. You, you sandwiched it in? Sandwiched it also? <laughs> <laughs> We just Ooh. talked about this. <laughs> I know. I'm getting ready to go that's get me. That's why I said just. That's why I, I know. That's why I said just when you. That's why I describe it. This is exactly why I do it this way. So lay it down. I did. So lay it down, and then God. this is all you are sewing. I can't. I can't see you. Let me see here. Um, okay. Let me. Hold on. I'm gonna do my table again. Okay, when you lay that other side, when you lay that other side down on the zipper mm -hmm. to and pin it, that's all you're sewing. Right there. Yeah, that's all I did. I, I didn't. I promise you, I didn't do anything else. So I'm. Wow. Let me tell you what you did. Okay. Let me tell you what you did. Okay. Let me tell you what you did. Okay. You, did. Okay. You, did. you did this. Yeah. You did that. You flipped it. Yeah. You flipped it. You pinned it. But then you put it in the machine like that. Okay. Lord have mercy. Now, when you learn how to do a fly front zipper, this is going to be very familiar to you. <laughs> <laughs> you and Sonya. Because that's what you did. That's what you, that's how you do a fly front zipper. <laughs> she screamed, didn't she? I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, she did. Oh, don't apologize. No, yes, don't it. apologize, honey. We know. Yeah, that's when I go to wine. <laughs> yes, no, that's when you that's when you get up. <laughs> that's when you get up. Sonia, you, you got yours out yet? Where'd she go? Oh, I was gonna say, just <laughs> she go get her wine, <laughs> uh, right? <laughs> this I mentioned it, right? <laughs> going to do guys since only four of okay. us are sewing what we're going to do yay sundoris okay <laughs> <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to 
what we're going to do, we're going to go to Button. Oh, gosh. Oh, this looks because I do have the, the YouTube video has every single zipper detail how you install it. Okay. So we're going to go to Buttons <coughs> so that we can, um, you know, get more coverage. Right. Okay. But I want Terry and Sonia, I want you guys to do this part. Go ahead and take it apart, Terry and Sonia. I want you to do it, okay? <laughs> she got it in her hand. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, y'all remember seeing this last night. You see? You see how many I have? They get dull. And let me tell you my little system. See this one? Mm -hmm. I've used it. I've never used this one because it's got the cap on it. <laughs> Well, when I know I need a sharp one, I know I reach for one that has a cap. See, I got them. They all got, these all got caps on them, meaning I have not used them yet. But I've used this one. And these I've never used. I've used the big ones. Did y'all know one comes with your sewing machine? That, that's yeah. the only one I've been using is the one. And it, anybody has this little brush thing? Yeah. But with the sewing machine? It. Look at my table. Where's your table at? Right there. Oh, yeah, I have it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, if anybody has this little thing in your machine, mm -hmm. guess what? <laughs> oh, I have two. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, these things come in handy. I carry one in my purse. Oh, all right now. <laughs> yeah, have you one. never know when somebody gonna need something. Like I can help. <laughs> <laughs> now you said take this off and get out the button hole. Yeah, we're gonna do buttons. But I want Terry and Sonya to continue getting your zipper in because I want them to complete that. I need to take mine out. It doesn't look one is too far over. Okay, let me get um one that I have. Um, this was supposed to be on top. What's that? Let me see. Who is that talking? That's Deborah. Deborah. Yes. Would you, are you sewing? I decided to reach over in my drawer and get material so that I could make sure I knew what I was looking at. Okay, good. So um, I think I, I got one side pinned right, but the other side. Have you pinned and stitched that one side? I'm not sewing. I'm just pinning. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Just pin it. Okay. Yeah. So you started out like this, right? Look at my table. I can't see your table. Wait a minute, hold on. I don't know what I'm looking at. I can't see the table. Yeah, I see your table. Okay. Your your zipper was sitting in between, in the middle of your fabric. I got okay. it. I got right it. Side. I got it. Got it? Yes, I got it. I, I did a okay. zipper years ago, but okay. I just haven't did one in a many years. But yeah, I got there you it. go. There yeah, you go. I'm, I'm going to leave it like this, too, so I can remember <laughs> I'm going to leave it pinned like this. I, <laughs> I know I put a zipper in before, but it's probably been 20, 30 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yes, girl. You know, y'all, I told, did I tell y'all that I, um, you know, I stopped sewing for 20 years. I stopped about that time too. <laughs> mm -hmm. I stopped sewing for 20 years. And when I was sewing, there was no such thing as the internet. No, it and, wasn't. Right. So when I started sewing again, I was amazed. And there were things that I had to get back in my brain. You know, like, oh, yeah, um, the fly front zipper, the welt pocket. I had to get some things back in my brain. And I lived a lot on YouTube when I first started sewing again. And that was only five years ago. Because that's when I started. That's, my son was gone. I came back to Atlanta. And um, 
I had to get some things back in my brain because I was, I went right into making stuff. Just get, I knew I had to tune up. I said, okay, I need to do this. I made a bunch of bags, just get myself going and everything, perfecting my little skills and stuff and hanging out on YouTube. I could not believe the amount of content that was on YouTube. I couldn't believe it, but it was, you know, and I don't go to YouTube as mm -hmm. um, for sewing as much now, um, except maybe bra making because that's a new thing for me. Um, and I wanna learn from the people that are better than I am or have been in it years longer than I have. But um, man, I tell you, I, I made a bow tie the other day and I wanted to learn how to tie it. I watched 15 different YouTubes and I still couldn't get it. <laughs> right, right. I couldn't get it for nothing, man. And I end up tying it, you know, just for me. So, okay, this has going to be, it's going to be cute like this. So, um, where did Sonia go? Ah. There she is, Sonia. <laughs> There you are. I'm here. Okay. Y'all getting it. Okay. I everybody still, get out. Your, go ahead. Still what? I still don't understand the... No, no because when I do it like you you tell me to do it, when I stitch it, it's still stitched together. So there's something that I'm missing. Move no, the so other piece out the way. Out the way. You're, you're, t you're, you're putting it in the machine the wrong way. So let me see. Okay. All right. Where's your, okay. Your first stitch. All right. So what you did was you, you're pinning it together. Mm -hmm. The only thing you need to pin is the edge of that second fabric and the edge of the zipper tape. Put it okay. down. Put, take all those pins out. Take all those yeah. pins out. All over. <laughs> yeah. Okay, take that fabric, put it down. Put it down. Put that fabric down. No. Yeah. The other one. Hold yeah. up the zipper. Hold up the zipper. Put that uh -huh. fabric down. The fabric in your left hand, put it down. Okay. Yeah. Hold up the zipper. Yeah. Just hold up the empty side of the zipper. Yes. Touch that. That's all I want you to touch. Take the okay. other piece of fabric, take the other fabric and okay. line it up, line it up right side to that part of the zipper. The empty part of the zipper. No, no, no. The piece of the zipper that's, that's showing yeah, that side of the zipper. Line the put that fabric, line it up on that edge. Okay. You're already done with the other side. Pretend it's not even there. There you go. Line it up on that edge. And that's what you're gonna sew. Okay. Oh, so I was catching. <laughs> yeah, it's catching. Okay, what I want you to do, make it easy right now. Go ahead and put um, in your right hand, go ahead and pin that. Your right hand, pin that. Yeah. Okay, now turn it around, Sonia, so you're looking at the zipper side. Turn okay. it around. Okay. Uh -huh. Turn it on the other, work on the other side. Turn around on the other side. Turn it around all the way facing you, yes. Yeah. Okay. Now just look at the zipper side. Look at the zipper side. Uh -huh. Now hold it up in front of you. Hold the zipper side in, in front of you. Now look at, no, you, you're looking at the wrong side. Turn it up. Turn it up so the zipper, the zipper is facing you. I'm confused. <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not. Oh, you look, go ahead. Look, 
Lord, I, I'll get it. I'll get it. No, enough. you're not, uh, sweetie. Look, look. I, see I'm where not. you pinned it? See where you pinned I'm it? Not. Where you pinned it? Uh -huh. Okay. Turn that up so you're looking at the zipper. Turn it up. No, not the fabric. Not the fabric. Just the zipper. It's in your hand. It's in your left hand. Uh -huh. Where you pinned it? Right here. P t look on the other side. Look on the other side. No, in your hand. Come back to the pin. Come back to the pin. Uh -huh. Stay right there. Stay right there. Uh -huh. Turn it up where your finger is, not your thumb. Look underneath where your finger is on the zipper. Right here? Yes. Uh-huh. Underneath. Turn that up facing you. Okay. I see what you're saying. So I need to turn it up. Yes. Look Exactly. Stay just like that. Stay right okay. there. Uh -huh. Now keep pinning the fabric down on the edge of the zipper. Okay. All right. Right. And ignore that other piece of fabric because it's already been stitched to the other side. Okay. Now keep pinning that edge all the way down and that's what you're going to put in the sewing machine and stitch. Got it. I got it. Yep. You do I have it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hold anybody up. So You're not holding anybody up. I hang with oh, you. Oh. The whole class is, and I can tell you everywhere everybody is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. We're with you, sister. Right? <laughs> hey, look, Colette just said the same thing. We are all with you. <laughs> yes. Okay, now, um, Sonia, take that pin, that first pin that you put in, uh -huh. that first pin, take it yeah. out and put it on the other side with all the other pins. Okay. I was just having you pin it so I can get you here. Yeah. Make sure that other fabric is out of the way. Then I have you go. I had before, if it's not out the way. Right. Correct. Right. The only thing you are stitching is that piece of fabric and the zipper tape. You're only you're only stitching two things together. Okay. Now what I want you to do, open the fabric and look at it with the zipper in the middle. Boy, I'm scared to do that, but I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Ta da! There you go. Yes. There. there you go. There you go. Now, wait a minute. You got a pin. You got a pin. Wait, wait, wait. You got a pin up top. There's, it's caught. Right up okay, there at the top. top. Yeah. That's caught. Okay. Take that pin out and only, only pin the fabric and the zipper tape. That one piece of fabric. Now look at it again. Open it up and look at it again. Make sure everything is like you want it. Okay. There yes. You okay. Woo! Now. <laughs> okay. Now put that. Hey, anybody, they had wine. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now you're going to start stitching that part only. Okay. All right. And then come back and show it. Terry, okay. what you doing? Yes, girl. <laughs> All right. While Sonia's finishing up, everybody get their, uh, the buttonhole foot out. It looks like this. If that's what it looks like on your machine. It is some variation of this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Y'all got it? Oh, I like your foot, Nikki. <laughs> well, it's not mine. Oh, it's not? It's the Janome. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. I still like it. Yeah. You know what? Let me see if I can hook this thing up. Now that I'm seeing how easy it looks. Oh, the the one that you were messing with earlier? The black yeah. one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can do this. I can do this. Oh, one second, guys. I'm going to give you a to go. Yeah, I'm going to have a studio where I don't have to break nothing down. Everything stays. <laughs> like it's to be. Right. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm re recording this. So let me show you how this thing works. Does the button need to be round? Um, great question. No, it doesn't. Oh. Oh. Michelle, you can't find a round button? The one, a little one I just found. I don't know where my button's at. Mm -hmm. Got for names. The ones I got from you was too big. <laughs> I got one. Okay, good. Okay. I can't find my buttonhole. I, 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 it's somewhere, but I'm just going to watch. I know I got one. I seen it the other day, but I don't know the where. Okay. Okay, so there's, there's two things happening. You've got a buttonhole foot that goes on your machine. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Okay. And you have a buttonhole setting on your machine. Mine is 12. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay. Mine is 12. Okay. And here's my buttonhole foot. There's a the same machine as me. Is a is it full? Huh? Someone has the same machine as me. Who is it full? Um, Sonia. No, who was that? Who had the same machine as Sundaris? What kind do you have again? The, the brother at the nineteen hundred. Oh yeah. That's what I have. Who? Well, who's that? <laughs> this is Sonia. Um, Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So the third piece you have, if you have this system here and the brother machines do, you have a gauge that comes down. Wait a minute. My, my, my screen froze. Okay. You have a gauge that comes down. It's right here. Let me move all this stuff out of the way so you can see. Okay. All right. So that helps the, the buttonhole foot operate. Okay. So okay. the back of the buttonhole foot is the button, the button gauge. Okay. Put the buttonhole, put the button in and I got it. Okay. I got a big one. <laughs> All right. And just pull it down and make sure it's locked. Make sure it's all you see how it holds the button in place. 
Just make sure it's locked. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here's your foot part. This is the part you recognize. It's got the little bar. There it is right there. So you're going to put it, put it in your machine here. Just like you do any other foot. Let me do that again. Okay. And it does like this. This is what it does. Just make sure your, your threads are out of the way. Okay, your bobbin thread will be on the bottom. Now, buttonholes typically start stitching backwards. As soon as you put your foot on the pedal, it'll start stitching going backwards. Okay, put the button foot on. Put your put your dial where it's supposed to be. This is this one is 12. Wherever your any of your buttonhole stitches, use the same foot, but you have to put the numbers in. If you want the keyhole, whatever. Okay. Um, and as soon as you put the you, you've got the button in the back, and, and then as soon as you put the foot on, lower the lever. And it is supposed to be behind. Let me take this off. It's supposed to see here it is right here. It's supposed to be behind that first lever because what it's going to do, it's going to travel from here to here, which is the same distance as the button. It's going to go here, stop here, it's going to come back. And it's the same distance as the button. So that's how it works. Okay. All right, I'm all set. I'm going to put my fabric in. I'm remembering that it's going to start stitching backwards. So when you mark your buttonholes on your garment, you got to make sure you lower the press of foot exactly where it needs to be. And I'll show you a trick to how, how to do that. Okay. Can you guys see this? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to lower the presser foot and I'm just going to start stitching. And I'm barely doing anything with the machine, with the fabric. I'm not doing anything. I'm just keeping it guided. It's operating by itself. I got a large button back there. <laughs> then it'll stop by itself and it'll beep. Okay. Buttonhole. I'm nervous. Now if you have if you have paid for that, you'd be mad. <laughs> right? All right, let's put a smaller button in there. Let's see how tiny we can go. And if you want another button the same way, just don't make any changes, just keep going. Okay. Oh, I'm supposed to start. Hmm. I always get confused with this thing. <clears throat> Come on. Okay. All right, here's a button that has, it's not flat, right? Mm -hmm. Put it in upside down. Oh. Okay. Just put it in upside down. So it's a little one. Okay. 
Okay, now the machine knows that it's got a smaller button because you put it in there in the back. Press your foot down, start sewing. The buttonhole starts stitching, it stitches a straight stitch first, and then it comes back stitching the zigzag. And then it'll stitch another straight stitch, and then it'll, it'll zigzag. Uh, Nikki? Yeah? T brought up a good question. I mean, I, I explained it to him, but I think some of the people may need to know. He asked, and uh, will the, Will it stop on its own when you're completing the buttonhole? Yeah. Um, so yes, mm -hmm. it does. Yeah. Yes. So you know, It'll just in case. Yep. Okay. Let me let me try something. I'm not familiar with this machine. As far as this, okay. What I'm going to do? I'm going to use the stop and start button instead of my presser foot. Okay. Mm hmm. I'm going to lower the presser foot, and then I'm going to hit the stop and start button. Uh-oh, oh, wait a minute. My thread came out. Hold on. We talked about that yesterday. These must start and stuff. I didn't think about that. <laughs> I never mm -hmm. use that button. <laughs> you don't? I use no. mine all the time. Me too. I use it to do bobbins. I can walk away when my, from my machine when I'm doing a bobbin. Using the stop and start button. But the thing about the brothers and sometimes the brothers and the Janome, mm -hmm. the stop and start button won't work if the presser foot is plugged in. You have wow. to unplug, you have to unplug you know the presser foot. You have to use one or the other. You have to I use think, one or the I, other. Yeah, I think that yeah. is, you're right. Yeah, with, with my Viking, I can do either or. It doesn't matter. All right, I don't have the presser foot, uh, the, uh, the foot pedal in. So I'm just going to use the stop and start, but uh-oh, okay. See, <laughs> I messed that up. I didn't put the foot down. <laughs> I'm sure y'all have done that before. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's a bird's nest, y'all. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Press the foot down. Stop and start. Oh, it's, okay. The bob and it's all. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all get the point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. bobbin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my bobbin's all jacked up. This ain't my machine, no way. <laughs> yeah. All right, let, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Your marking tools are really important for your buttonholes. Very, very important. Stand in the mirror. Put the shirt on. Stand in the mirror and uh, put pins where you want the buttonholes. Okay. Buttonholes. Put them where you want. Buttonholes are t on a shirt. Let's just use a shirt as an example. Buttonholes. Good night, Nicole. We'll see you later. Buttonholes are typically four inches apart. Your preference where you start. Okay, ladies usually stand in the mirror and see where that first buttonhole is going to be, right? Okay, and then they go from there. All right, men, you typically have a, you know, most of your patterns will have a buttonhole guide. 
and you lay it down on the, uh, the garment, the buttonhole guy. It's just like a pattern piece, but it tells you where the buttons should go. And the lines look like this. Make the lines long on this side. Sometimes I have even made one long line like that and put my buttonhole lines right there, okay? And I'll measure, I'll actually measure the button, you know, the button space. Because when you put it in the machine, let me show you why. When you put it in the machine, see, you've got your lines that are beyond the foot. If you just make a little line right there and you put it on the machine, you lost it. Mm. You lost your line. So make long lines at the beginning and remember the buttonhole stitch is gonna start and go backwards. So that pattern piece that says buttonhole guide, don't throw it away. Okay. Yep. Terry. Okay. Terry got hers done. Yep. Yay. There you go. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling y'all, this stuff is easy. Once you know, you're like, oh, that's all it is. Yeah. Now I don't have the buttonhole, um, the buttonhole video out yet. I'm working. That's on the list, and um, you know we'll get that get that going. Hopefully, I'll have by December. I'll have a whole catalog of basic beginner sewing techniques on video. Not that I'm telling you go learn from YouTube because we know how that works, right? but I want you to have my stuff because if you're taking my classes, I want you, you, you'll be used to it and all of that, right? That's my book. So I'm answering for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're good. We are good. We are good. Okay, cool. All right. Um, all right, so that's good for zippers and buttons. What questions does anyone have? I'm gonna stop recording and then I'll send this to you guys, okay? <laughs>